Everybody wants the lowest price possible on an RV they buy, right? You buy a new RV from a dealer, man, I got it for this price. What happens though when you get out? You think you paid this price, but by the time they get through adding everything on, you're paying this price. How much of that stuff is uh, required? How much of it is suggested? Did you know that the F&I, the Finance and Insurance Department there at the RV dealership is one of the most profitable places in that entire business? My friend Ron Burge, the RV Lemon Lawyer, and I visited about this very topic recently. Here's part of that conversation. In terms of purchasing extended warranties, when I buy a new RV, uh, they always offer an extended warranty. You want to buy a you know bumper to bumper, blah, 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 some of your extended warranty. That's separate from the manufacturer warranty, isn't it? And how does that work? Uh, I mean, just explain that a little bit because it's not an extended warranty with the manufacturer. Isn't it a third party company? It is on almost all cases going to be a third party. Uh, and what that means is it isn't the dealer. Instead, the dealer is selling something that was sent to them to be able to sell these extended warranties. And that's true for all of what we call soft add-ons. Uh, things like the extended warranty or credit life disability insurance, you know, the fabric protection, the paint, all that stuff. Mm. All that stuff that the F&I man, the finance department can sell to you or put into the deal or whatever. All of that typically is coming from some third party company that the dealer has worked out a deal with to be able to sell their product. And when it comes to that, there's a couple of things to bear in mind on that. The first thing is the cost. The second thing is how do you deal with it when you got a problem? In terms of the cost, those are the highest profit making things happening at that dealership. Typically whatever they want to sell it to you for is anywhere from a 30% to a 200% markup oh. cost the dealer. For instance, if it's a $10,000 extended warranty, you can figure the dealer's probably getting it for around three to four, maybe five, depending on what the coverage is. A lot of profit in there. Most people don't realize it, but you can argue with them and negotiate that price, and it'll only save you bucks. Then yeah, the that's why I always say that it's always the out the door price that you're paying for that new RV. You can pay a little bit, and then they tack on another ten grand. Oh yeah, you're, you're you're paying for it one way or the other. Oh yeah, you can get you can find yourself financially getting deeper and deeper long after you've agreed on what the price is for the RV. Now the second part of that is when you start having the problem, then what do you do? when the extended warranty is what covers it. And basically what you need to do is to find out who the service provider is of that, is that company that backs up the service contract. You wanna be able to deal both with them and the dealer you bought it from, both of them. Just like when you have a problem under your main factory warranty from the RV company, you wanna deal with both the RV company and your dealer. You wanna make everybody aware that you're out there, you got a problem and you're getting upset about it the squeaky wheel once again. When it's time to buy a new RV, I suggest that the price is just one of the things that you look at. One, it's important, but not nearly as important as the out the door price. The price at the end of the transaction. Some people can pay literally $50,000 for an RV, but by the time they get out the door, they're, they're paying 60,000 fabric protection and paint protection, the extended service plan, all the different things that are added on. And like Ron said, those are some of the most highly profitable things at that dealership. So if something is required, you gotta take it. If it's suggested, you don't have to take it. If they are trying to sell it to you, slow it down, ask questions. What is fabric protection Specifically, if I have a problem, what is it? Give me an example and how would I resolve that? What about paint protection? Most of those things that they add on are third party companies that you're going to have to deal with if you have an issue. So slow down. I know it's exciting. You want a good out the door price from a great dealer with great reviews, and they won't mind if you slow things down and ask questions. There are no stupid questions, I will assure you. Remember, smart RVers 
are happy campers. Now, if you think that you might have a lemon RV or you know somebody that has a lemon RV, thinks they do, you can get a free evaluation by clicking on the link below. As I always remind everybody, there is uh, absolutely no uh, obligation, no strings attached. Just click on the link below, fill out the information. Ron Burge and his attorneys will look at it and they may go, hey man, you got a, you got a potential claim here or not really. They're really good people. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman. I'll see you next time.